All right, now we are on, we just did Sagittarius to Scorpio. Okay, we're on Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, we are doing a Venus reading, so we're focusing on love and money, but it's a pop-up reading, so let's see what pops up. Okay, pop-up Venus reading. Let's see what shows up. Pisces, okay, so you've been hiding some feelings there. You might go see the Pisces reading. That was a really good one. Okay. Square. What? Pluto. That's that trine Venus Pluto. Here it says square, but that's what I'm getting. All right. Okay, so we want to stay in our honor and integrity, right? Okay, and... Right, so... Your dream world, your dream work may look like it's not showing up, but the thing is, is to trust it and move with the creation of your dream world. Okay. All right. So just flow, flow it, flow it. All right. So in the past with the retrograde, you may have felt like escaping but uh, this is a good time to take action steps. And even if you don't see the fruits of your labor um, in the physical, it will show itself. So keep working towards your goals is what I'm getting. Okay. What seems impractical may be practical because you're moving in new territory. And um, there may not be any kind of markers to go by. So you just have to kind of go with your gut instinct and what your inner world is suggesting. All right. So what I do see is you want a, a deep oceanic kind of love. Uh, deeper than the deepest ocean. Woo! All right, Scorpio. <laughs> and I feel like that kind of deep, infinite ocean love begins with you. Now, there may have been some shocking revelations and big changes uh, in your life. And just trust the change and find time to connect with your inner world and then they will suggest um, that is the pathway to the resources you need the intelligence you need for this renewal stage this new path okay so i feel like you're harmonizing with um, yourself your personal power and you're evolving into a new kind of energy clearing out things you don't feel like you need right in your life anymore it's like fine-tuning all right let's see what else what's on the bottom Woo, sun okay so you may feel like the sunny side is far away with the fifth house Okay, so I feel like a lot of you maybe this summer had lots of fun and there was a lot of, uh, what is that, rigam, rigam and, I don't know what that is, rigam and, rigam and, rigam and roll, okay. Anyway, there was a lot that you did and I feel like you feel like you need to recharge your batteries, okay, so. I'm getting humble beginnings in this new path. Okay, so I feel like that's the key to your success. Being humble, creative, moving in your honor and integrity and staying there. And I feel like that kind of energy, that life force energy of uh, being in your honor, I feel like, is going to magnetize that. Okay, now, there may be a side of you, this inner child energy that can um, pop out, right? Okay, and I feel like if that's the case and it wants to help you reveal some things about yourself, flow with it. All right, now, this, 
watermelon thing I'm getting is maybe change up a routine you do in the morning, right, to energize. What are you ingesting? Are you ingesting positive ideas? Are you ingesting... Uh... Okay, so maybe adding some sort of... Um, Fruits and vegetables. Okay, something like that's coming up. All right, now what is this flower? Oriental iris. Oriental iris, what is that? Okay, so. Do they call it oriental iris? Yeah, it's a flower. Okay, so there's something with that here, Lily. Okay, and um, so for me, this flower reminds me of my mom because she loved um, these irises, right? These lilies, I mean. Why do I keep saying it? But it's Lily, and uh, she has a bunch in the garden, and when they bloom, they always remind me of her. So that's coming up. Okay, and... Um, Okay, so, oh, what is that? Okay, so I feel like you have your eye on some fun things uh, coming into the end of this year. Okay, so keep moving in that direction, right? And you may have felt like you were on a hamster wheel, but I feel like things are going to improve. Okay, and... Okay, I don't know why this is coming up here, but I want to bring it up, okay, since we're doing love and money. There's something with ancient artifacts, okay, and ancient artifacts pop up in different places, okay, so, but it's important not to have judgment on it, I feel like, because sometimes these things go to certain locations to be preserved over centuries and they end up in a location so that uh, the masses could enjoy it instead of it it being okay so what is that Shh. Shh. Okay, so wherever something ended up, it's meant to be there. So free yourself from that. Okay, that's for someone. The bottom is Aquarius. So there could be some... Sometimes this Aquarius energy can say some surprising things. I got P-O-W, so that's a military word, plus it's pal. <laughs> It's like socket to him energy. So this could be you harnessing that. Okay, so you may be cutting some things out of your life to make space, right? And it's like moving in new territory, doing things differently than your family, moving into uh, altruism, humanitarian things. Okay, and uh, you may look eccentric to some people from the outside world, but the key is to... Um, move in your energy and what it's telling you, 11th house. Because when you're on the leading edge, right, of creation, uh, you may not have anything from the past to go by. So you just have to trust spirit. Okay, so I feel like you're going to feel more connected than ever in friendships and group creativity. Community means a lot to you, and you're going to uh, have your eyes on the future, and uh, legacy is coming up here, too. Okay, so that's important to you. Starting up new things in your name. Trying new things differently than what was done before. This is expansion. Money, just stay optimistic. That's pretty much been the message in everyone's reading. Okay. Even if it, there's shakeup in the physical reality, 
stay in a loving, positive place, and that will open up your world. Okay. Yeah, so that's the retrograde energy. And you may, um, the key is you may feel like you want to hurry through some stuff. But this is the message is enjoy the journey. Okay. And uh, from the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords. So you may have an upgrade in your business or work life. Um, this is from being Knight to the King. Okay. So I'm getting this car from Canada and that I loved. And... Wow. They have the commercials like you have been knighted, and then, uh, but th that that car is as expensive as a house. <laughs> okay, so what is that? Okay, so you may feel like midlife crisis or something like that, but uh, things are going to improve and things are going to weave together, and the energy behind the scenes are working with you. Okay, so whoever this is in spirit is assisting you. Okay, weave a new reality that's even more magnificent than that which was before. Thank you, Scorpio. 